That's right. I now have a full Windows 11 boot camp installation on my 2013 MacBook Pro. It took less than an hour to install and it runs beautifully. Here's how you can do it. Go to the Microsoft Windows 11 page. Scroll down to the option for the Windows 11 disk image ISO. Choose the X64 multi-edition and download it. A link is in the description. It took about four minutes to download for me. Next, get a 16 gigabyte or larger USB drive that you don't mind erasing and insert it into your computer. Don't worry about formatting it. Bootcamp will do that for us. So press command spacebar to open up Spotlight Search and search for Bootcamp Assistant. Hit enter to open it up. In Bootcamp Assistant, leave both options checked and click continue. Click on the drop down and select the Windows 11 ISO that you downloaded earlier. Then select your USB drive and remember it's going to erase everything currently on the USB drive. Once you're ready, click continue. Enter your password. It will go through the process of creating the installer, which took about 12 minutes for me. Once it finishes, you're presented with a slider where you can choose how much space you'd like to allocate to Bootcamp or Windows 11. I chose about 150 gigabytes. Once you're ready, click install. It will start creating the partition, which only takes a couple minutes, and then your computer will automatically reboot. It should automatically reboot into the Windows installer that you created, but if it doesn't, you might have to hold option and then just select the installer from the list of boot options. Once it boots up, you'll see a Windows logo and it may take a couple minutes to load. Mine took about three minutes before arriving at the setup screen. Before we proceed any further, we need to make some quick registry edits. You see, Windows 11 requires some enhanced security features at the disk level that isn't set up by default on Mac computers. So we're going to disable that feature. It doesn't make your computer any less secure than say Windows 10, but it's just not as secure as most Windows 11 installs. And if you're worried, just make sure that you don't use your Windows, your bootcamp partition on any insecure networks. So press Shift and F10 at the same time to open up Command Prompt. Enter the command reg edit. With the registry open, navigate inside of the H key local machine folder, then inside the system folder, and then inside the setup folder. With the setup folder highlighted, go to the edit menu and choose new key. I don't really think the name of the key here matters, but I called mine lab config. With the lab config folder selected, go to the edit menu and then select new D word 32 bit value and set it to bypass TPM check, no spaces. Then double click to set the value to one. Then with the lab config folder selected again, go back up to edit, choose new D word 32 bit value again, and set this one to bypass secure boot check without spaces, and then double click and set its value to one. Now exit the registry and exit terminal. Now press next on the install screen and enter a Windows 11 product key if you have one, or just choose I don't have a product key. Select the edition that you'd like to install. I chose Windows 11 Home, but then upgraded it to the Pro Edition later on. Accept the terms, choose the bootcamp partition as the drive that you'd like to install it on, and click Next. It will do its thing and then restart. This part took about 17 minutes for me. When it restarts, it should enter right back into the Windows installation, but if it doesn't, you can just select the Windows partition from the boot menu. Be aware that this restart may take a while. It actually took 15 minutes for me before I actually landed at the select a region screen. So be patient. But once you land at the select a region screen, go ahead and select your region and click yes. Then it asks to connect to Wi-Fi. This is the last challenging step of setting up Windows 11 on Mac. You see, to install Windows 11, you have to have a network connection. And when you're installing it on a Mac, the drivers for your Wi-Fi adapters haven't been set up yet so you can't join Wi-Fi. Now there are multiple solutions to this. Some people said that using a mobile hotspot and then connecting their phone to their computer via a USB cable worked for them. I tried that and it didn't work. And before I went to even try other solutions, I remembered that I had a 10 year old USB to ethernet adapter and I just plugged that into the laptop plugged my ethernet cable in and the internet came up immediately. So these things are like 10 or 12 bucks on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description if you choose to go that route, but whatever way you can get internet to the computer during this step will help you get to the next step. The next step is to give your device a name and after you do that, the computer will reboot and you'll be brought into the normal setup process that you can go through on your own, just configuring your options, logging into your Microsoft account, etc. 
You'll see this cool text overlay intro as you wait to get in, and then voila, you are on Windows 11 on your Mac. Bootcamp will finish the installation, which takes about five minutes. Then the computer will restart again, and you are 100% good to go on Windows 11. It's a good idea to go into Windows Software Update and just make sure that your operating system is fully up to date from the Windows side of things. To switch between Mac and Windows, just hold the Option key at Startup and choose whether or not you'd like to go to your Windows partition or your Mac partition. As some of you may know, the Sonoma installation on this computer is unsupported. So sometimes when I start up my Mac partition, I actually see the missing file icon, but it disappears after a few seconds and boots up normally. It's also worth noting that before I installed Windows 11, I did a complete wipe of this computer and I installed an unsupported version of Sonoma. So if you're on an old version of Mac OS because the newer versions aren't supported, check out this video right here and I'll show you just how easy it is to upgrade that old Mac to the newest operating system. If you found the video that you're watching right now helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up here on YouTube. Good luck using Windows OS on that Mac hardware. I'm Anson Alexander, and I will see you in the next one.